So uh, this is a different type of video than the usual. Uh, this is all about um, yung explainers dito sa mga questions na pilos ko these past few days. If you're not familiar with this picture right here, ibig sabihin hindi pa kayo part ng Team Laika online. So, in order for you to do that, actually, wala namang bayad, walang requirement for you to be part of Team Laika. May mga people kasi na medyo nag sila na baka daw may bayad or anything like that. Uh, yes, there are certain uh, things that you can pay for like uh, the, the viewers and also the live review events or your online review program. Pero you don't need to pay in order to join Team Laika. If you like the page, if you're subscribed to this channel, then you are part of Team Laika, okay? Hindi nyo kailangan na isipin na you're anything less than the others who pay for it. So, uh, this question right here is something that I discussed in my last video. Um, yung algebra and geometry. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and watch it first because that would teach you how to solve this problem. This is just my way of uh, showing you kung paano ito solve. Because one thing I noticed is wala masyadong nag-comment ng tamang sagot dun sa mga tanong na ito. Now, why do I say nag-comment? Because I post this sa Facebook tapos I look at the comments. Uh, most of the time, uh, the people who are prepared for the test, they answer there, they put their solutions, or uh, kung ano man yung tingin nilang answer. And I look there. Kung maraming tao nakakakuha ng, na, ng tamang sagot, I just put the uh, correct answer. And I also see if merong mga uh, Team Laika members na tamay or maganda yung solution, I also tell people na yun yung magandang solution to use. So that is uh, what, what goes on usually sa page. But for this particular question and the other one that I'm going to discuss today, not a lot of people tried to, to answer it not a lot of people also got, uh, got it right so that is why I'm, we're discussing this today now as i the length of a rectangle is 60 meters more than its width if the area is 2700 square meters what is its length now uh the first thing that you do uh, when you're discussing geometry problems is try to draw the shape now why do i do this it's just simpler if you visualize it than just putting a table or indicating your formula right away. Lalo na if hindi pa kayo sanay doon sa entire setup. If you, For example, mabilis na kayo, madami na kayong practice, then you can do it off the top of your head. Pero if hindi pa, then you can draw the shape first. We have a rectangle. Ang length daw niya, now ito yung length, yung mas mahabang side, ang length niya daw is 60 meters more than its width. Pag sinabing 60 meters more than, ibig sabihin sa Tagalog, 60 meters na mas marami kaysa sa width. So this is plus. Big sabihin nun kung ito ang width, ang length niya is 60 plus the width. Now, the area daw of the rectangle is 2,700 meters. Now, how can we solve for the length? All we have to do right now is to substitute this and form an equation. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ano ang alam natin tungkol sa area ng rectangle? Ang area ng rectangle is length times the width. Ibig sabihin nun, itong 2,700, nakuha siya by multiplying the length, which is here, 60 plus W with W. Okay? Now, pag meron na kayo nito, you can solve down. Now, I noticed then doon sa Facebook page, some people use the formula na 2L plus 2W. Now, the reason why hindi itong formula ang tama, kasi this is actually for the perimeter of the rectangle. Hindi siya area. Eh, ang binigay here, the area is 2,700 and nakalagay dito square meters. This is also an indicator na area ang pinag-uusapan. So, this is what we're going to use. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin 2,700 and then distribute natin to 60 times W is 60 W plus W times W which is W squared. And then, ang gagawin natin in order for us to factor this, we'll move everything on uh, dun sa isang side. Okay? So, you can transfer 2,700 sa kabilang side. Kung positive siya dito, magiging negative siya sa kabilang side. So, this becomes 0. This becomes W squared. The reason for that is kasi yung degree. Uh, mas maganda to start with yung mga may exponent na positive. So, W squared plus 60 W minus 2,700. Alright? So, that is our equation. And all we have to do right now naman is to factor this. Okay? So, meron kang dalawang binomials dyan kasi trinomial siya, no? So, obviously, W squared, that is going to give you W and another W. Ang clue natin here, 2000, negative 2,700, ibig sabihin nun, one of them is a positive number, one of them is a negative number. Kasi lalabas lang ang negative kung nag-multiply ka ng positive at negative. Kung positive at positive, it will give you a positive number. Kung negative-negative, 
positive number pa rin. So, ibig sabihin nito, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, what we have to do right now is to think of some numbers na pag multiply mo, lalabas yung 2,700 na ang difference nila ay 60. Okay? Kasi, uh, ibig sabihin na pag multiply mo sila, lalabas 2,700 pero pag pinagsama mo sila, may gap na 60 kasi magkaiba sila ng sign. Now, in this case, dahil 60 ay positive, ibig sabihin mas marami yung positive number. Okay? So, yun na yung mga clues natin pag nag-factor tayo. I'm giving you these kasi para mas mabilis din yung factoring ninyo. I will try my best to make another video uh, specific, specifically on that, on the techniques on how to factor faster. Um, but uh, right now, this is what we have. Okay? So, 2,700, ano yung mga pwede multiply Don't look at the zeros muna. 27. Ano ba ang lumalabas sa 27? You have... Uh, 9 and 3, right? And then, since you have two zeros here, you can put the two zeros there. Kasi 90 times 30 is 2,700. And if you notice, ang difference din nila is 60. Okay? Now, yun, again, positive yung 60, so siya yung mas marami. So, this becomes your 90, this becomes your 30. Okay? So, ito yung ating factors. Now, in order for you to get kung ano yung hinahadap, okay, <clears throat> you're just basically going to uh, determine which side is zero. Kasi one of them will work. Ngayon, ano ibig sabihin nun? Gagawin mo zero isang side. W plus 90 equals zero. W equals negative 90. Now, bakit ito hindi pwedeng maging sagot? Kasi hindi naman pwede na yung distance mo is a negative number. Wala namang ganong uh, klase, no? So, dito tayo. W minus 30 is equal to zero. W is equal to yung negative 30 magiging positive 30. Now, pwede ba na merong 30 na measurement? Yes. So, the width becomes 30. Eh, ang hinahanap mo is the length. So, what do you do? 30 lang, if fill in lang natin dito. So, ang length daw is equal to 60 plus W or 60 plus 30. So, the length is equal to 90 meters. That is your answer. Alright? So, again, speed na to. Speed na ang pinag-uusapan dito. The, the more you practice, the faster you get. Alright? Move tayo sa next question. Uh, and this is the next question. This is something I posted then, doon sa Facebook page. Sabi, the height of a triangle is half of its base. If the area is 225 square meters, what is its height? So, ang pinag-uusapan na dito is a triangle. Alright? So, whatever triangle you want, pwede na naman din to lateral, no? Pero basically, yung sinasabi, yung height daw is, oh, is half or one half of, pag off is times, one half of its base. So, kung ang base ay B, ang height is equal to one-half ng B. And ang binigay the area. So, ang formula ng area ng triangle is one-half base times height. Okay? Ngayon, yung area na binigay dito sa equation is 225. So, 225 is equal to one-half. And then, we're just going to plug in the information base times the height, which is one-half B. Okay? So, you can solve it this, this way. Alright? Um, you can also do it na kung ang height is half of the base, then ibig sabihin nun, the height is equal to, um, uh, the base is equal to 2 times nung height. You can also solve like that. Okay? Um, but if you're not that comfortable with that, you can use this equation instead. Alright? So, ang 225 natin, is equal to 1 half B times 1 half B. So, that is just 1 fourth B squared. Okay. Uh, and then, what we're going, all we're, that we're going to do is to solve for 225. Ngayon, to do this, iiwan natin yung B squared sa isang side. So, yung 1 fourth, to eliminate that, we're going to multiply the entire thing with 4. So, para makakancel itong 1 fourth na yan. Okay. So, B squared is equal to 225 times 4. So, apat na 200, that is 800. Apat na 25, which is 100. So, that is 900. Okay? Um, now, after that, we're going to square root this, kasi both sides of them, para maiwan yung B. B is equal to the square root of... 900, which is, diba, we do this yung ating factor 3. If you haven't seen the radicals videos, go and watch that muna. 900 is equal to 30 times 30. So, ilalabas natin kasi pares na sila. So, 
So, you have 30 here. B is equal to 30. Now, ang hinahanap is height. So, hindi pa final answer yung 30. Ang height natin is equal to 1 half ng base. So, ang height is equal to 1 half of 30, which is H is equal to 30 over 2 or 15 meters. That is your final answer. Alright, so I hope you get this right. If you don't, just go back here, ipost ninyo, and uh, try your best to solve this yourself. Okay, kahit medyo pa ulit ulit. That's the reason why I'm making this video. Okay, so as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, go to www.facebook.com. Yeah, facebook.com slash team like uh, to reach out to me directly para access niyo yung mga libreng questions like this. And also, if you want a copy of the reviewers that I make or uh, catch me in one of the live review events or join the online review program, whatever uh, would be best for you, you can also reach out to me there to find out the details. Alright? Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless. Aja-aja kayo niyan.